Joining us now following the first phase of reopening is the mayor of Ithaca, Savante Myricks. Uh, Mr. Mayor, nice to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's our pleasure. All right. Phase one, what's it going to mean for your city? What are your expectations and what are you seeing on the ground in terms of reopening? Sure. Well, we are, you know, we are cautiously optimistic. Uh, I am very um, proud. We are very proud here in Ithaca to be um, really an economic engine for our region. We are the fastest growing economy in the state. We're one of the fastest growing in the entire country. We have the lowest unemployment, uh, better jobs figures even than New York City. And uh, that's been the case for about six, seven years now. Uh, we shut down our economy very quickly and did a tremendous job, really, of social distancing. You know, our people here uh, listened to the scientists, took it very seriously, and we ramped up our testing capacity. So, in fact, we've had zero COVID deaths, even though we are uh, here in New York State, and we have been testing, uh, our testing capacity is through the roof. All those things... Uh, tell us that now is a safe time to begin reopening. And uh, particularly around construction, we think that'll be a positive thing. Uh, but I should just say, right. we, we cannot actually get back to where we were. We cannot be this economic powerhouse again, unless the rest of the nation and frankly, the rest of the world gets the virus under control because a big part of our strength is our interconnectedness. And uh, if we're sure. not sure if our students can come back to the United States or if parents in California will feel comfortable sending their kids to Cornell in the fall, then uh, uh, our economy won't get back to where it was. Yeah, well, there it is. You mentioned Cornell, of course, Ithaca College also so important to your overall economy. I mean, adding uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, what is your latest read on Cornell and the and the likelihood of, of it reopening uh, at this yeah, point? Big, yeah, with big students, question. So with students on the campus. Yeah, right. So Cornell University... TC3 and Ithaca College have all made the decisions not only to shut down this semester and the summer, but they're all waiting to see if they can reopen in the fall. And again, much depends on not only what we can do here, and this is where it's a bit frustrating, right? We feel like uh, our police officers, our firefighters, our municipal workers have done their jobs. Our county officials have done an incredible job. Our hospital doubled its capacity almost overnight. Uh, we had so much excess capacity that we sent two busloads full of medical workers, doctors and nurses down to New York City to help. We've done our job and we are ready to reopen, but uh, the federal government just has not done their job. There's just not a, a testing scheme that is national that will put people at ease and make them feel comfortable traveling around. So we are really waiting, Cornell University, Ithaca College, they are really waiting to see if it's going to be possible for the nation to send all its students back in the fall. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's so much that's outside of our control, but we do hope they come back because without those students spending, forget it. It's not just pizza shops and it's not just bars. It's not just restaurants. It's barbershops. It's nail salons. It's uh, accountants. It's law firms. I mean, the ripple effects of all of our students staying home and not coming back to campus would be crippling. Mr. Mayor, it's Sarah. Have you done any work on what type of financial hole that would put you in if, if those two universities yeah. don't open and what you would need? Yeah, it's about the, uh, yes, that's been um, the cause of many sleepless nights over the last two months. I mean, again, we went from um, the largest, you know, I took, I took office at the height of the Great Recession, right? I was first elected 13 years ago. And I uh, closed a budget deficit that was three and a half million dollars large. That was the largest budget deficit in the city's history. We worked really hard to close that. We're now facing a budget deficit of $15 million, right? Five times the size of the largest we've ever had. Uh, and that assumes, honestly, that budget deficit assumes that the students are coming back in the fall. If the students don't come back in the fall, we're in real, I mean, uh, cataclysmic trouble. That's why the bill that the, the House Democrats passed last Friday, a tremendous bill that would have helped us, because we're in a finger trap here right now, right? Uh, I mean, we can't reopen the economy um, in this economy. Right? We can't reopen this economy if we don't have, as we've had to do, furlough a quarter of our employees. If we've had to close down our youth services. Uh, how are people going to go back to work if they have no place to drop their kids off before their shift starts? So that's why we need the federal government to get the engine running first uh, with more stimulus. Frankly, if they feel like, as the, as the Senate Republicans seem to feel like, they've done enough stimulus, 
then they are not uh, paying attention to Main Street. All they have to do is come down to Ithaca, stand on a street corner and ask themselves, does this seem like a stimulated economy to you?